hundreds of shovelers clear the seats and aisles in Buffalo for the rescheduled playoff game against the Steelers today. They earned every nickel of their $20 an hour. This is how the stadium looked just before the game was postponed yesterday, a whiteout. In Iowa, the Republican caucuses will also unfold amid record low temperatures and driving snow that could seriously impact turnout. The weather's really bad. There were 186,000 people that participated in 2016. There may be significantly less this time. USA! 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 Frontrunner Donald Trump made a tongue-in-cheek appeal to Iowans to brave the sub-zero cold. You can't sit home. If you're sick as a dog, you say, darling, I gotta make it. Even if you vote and then pass away, it's worth it, remember? Allison Hall spoke with CBS Morning's co-anchor Tony DeCopel, who is covering the caucuses. How did you dress for getting out there and talking to voters this weekend? That's a great question. I put on long johns, I put on spandex, I put on jeans, I put on a t-shirt, I put on a Henley like this, then I put on a sweater, then I put on my coat, then I put on my hood and my hat and my gloves. I had the Marv gloves, though, from Home Alone, though, with, like, the fingerless tips. That was a bad idea. The tips of my fingers were not functioning by the end of the day. 